Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Gnome here, and today we're checking out Emperor Apazek Entli the Fourth. Now, at first I wasn't sure if this card was going to be any good, but I was totally wrong. This deck is a lot of fun. You have to be careful when building this deck because the mana value four greater thing can be a trap. You end up having one side of your deck just lopsided with four mana value or greater creature cards because you want the benefit of everything on this card. But what I really went for was things that are four mana or greater and power four. We didn't really care so much for the toughness to be greater than four but if we did then it was just a plus obviously you can see the deck here but one of my favorite cards in the deck is going to be scale soul gnome and it's kind of weird because it is a gnome it already has haste so it doesn't need the power four or greater we can play it we get to sneak a creature card and we get to gain the five life and we also get to discover off the combat damage that we do and then whenever you get discovered you conjure a duplicate of it into your hand it's just kind of really wild crazy how good scale soul gnome is there's a few other cards in the deck like that where they don't have power four or greater but they are four mana value so eowen fearless knight tajik legion's valor and aurelia the war leader these are going to come in with haste already so you don't even need to worry about that power four or greater and since they are mana value four or greater then you will get to seek a card one thing to note of the commander's ability seeking a creature card will be any creature so sometimes you will seek a mana dork and it just sucks because you need gas and that's why this deck is very hit or miss you'll pop off or you won't and that's okay fun decks like this usually tend to be that way but in my opinion I think you could probably run less mana dorks and run more mana rocks so that you won't be seeking into a low mana cost creature because ultimately you want to be able to keep looping your commander's ability by seeking creatures with mana value for a greater so that's the only thing to remember it's a ton of fun and I'd really like to know what you guys think of it down below without further ado let's get right into it and let's see how the deck does shall we all right we go second we're up against Miram Sentinel Worm we have a Bloodstained Mire with Arcane Signet with two six mana creatures. Ah, this is kind of tough. I think I'll keep it, hope, hoping to draw into something. If we can't, then we'll just be in trouble. And, and these Miram decks have just gotten better and better since they printed some good dragons recently. Um, And we're just getting like faster and faster mana too like delighted halfling for one mana you know those those cards are going to be essential with mirror decks especially to protect me from getting counter as well so mirror mirror decks in general have just gotten a lot better can we outvalue the mirror deck if we can keep our commander on the field i think we can but if we got, if uh, they actually blow up our commander, then we might be in trouble. So we'll play our commander turn three, and then we can play Pantlaza turn four. And we start the value train from there. Just really depends on what they have. Miram gets out of hand with just leaving on the battlefield for one turn, so. Here's a 6-6. Six, six. Them having Elvish Mystic and Land of War Elves really kind of just really hinders us. So we know they can play Miram next turn for sure. Uh, we'll play the Battlefield Forge, play our commander, and just hope that they don't blow it up. Or they don't Mana Drain it. Oh, Mana Drain would be bad here. No mana drain, but do they have removal spell? Because they they they're gonna want to play Miram for sure. That's basically what the deck wants to do. You want to play Miram out, get it out early. Um, play the forest. We can play Ilharg and then put down put down the Copper Dragon and try to hopefully get mana from the Copper Dragon. Oh, that's so good. Could also put down Pantlaza and then discover off of that, but I want to put the Copper Dragon down. 
And he's not going to block because he wants to keep the Miram, so. I just hope this is enough. 18. Nice. Oh. <laughs> that was enough to make him scoop? Wow. I love it. GG's. All right, we got Ariet the Beguiler. We go first. Got a pretty good hand. Let's keep it. Hopefully we can draw into one of our big creatures. Ariet can take control of a lot of our creatures, so... You gotta be very careful. Well, I guess it really doesn't matter, honestly. We're gonna play our creatures regardless. I guess we can play Chromatic Lantern into Running Raptor. Oh, there we go. Got Galta there. Galta's pretty, pretty nice. We get our commander down next turn. And then we can possibly play Galta. And then we can start popping off like Dant. Great. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think they'd want to... Oh. They might scoop if they see this. Have ready rebels. No, no. That's the only bad thing about Marauding Raptor, I tell you. I put it index, and then I'm like, I put it index with like Llanowar Elves and like the small, cheap Mana Dorks, and then it gets blown up, and I'm like, oh yeah, crap. Forget about that. Do they board wipe here? No, they don't have double white. I don't have a player yet. Well, they're not going to be able to take control of Galta. There's no way they have... They have, uh... There's no way they have an enchantment that's 12 mana, right? Oh, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna swing. There we go. I think that's game. We get another combat step with a 12 12 trampler in Galta. That's game. Oh, they are they gonna be at one life? Oh, I should have swung with the Jaspar Sentinel now. Um, yeah, but that's pretty much game anyway. Don't think they had an answer. They could have had an answer, maybe, but I, with the way Ariette's built, I doubt it. GG's. We're up against Roxanne, Starfall Savant. Roxanne is slowly becoming one of my most hated commanders of this set. Um, and it's only because I don't play enough. I don't play enough uh, aggro deck. Let's keep this. Let's see if we can outpace the, Ro the Roxanne. We kind of have to. Kind of have to if we want something to happen here. We need something with white. Okay, two life. Even I know it's like really risky because we're already at 21 and Roxanne's kind of a burn deck. Oh. 
Let's play Somber Wild Sage. It gives us three mana. Oh my goodness, they're ramping up just as much as we are. What the hell is going on? I'm going to need you to stop right there, buddy. Guess we'll play our commander. And we'll play Savala. And we can hopefully play Skull Spore Nexus. Creatures have haste. Boom. No, well, you could have swung. I don't think I would have done anything. Well, we need we need something. Uh, need something. It's gonna protect us now. Play Gwenna. Oh, our creatures come in tapped. Oh, that's bad. I don't like that. Not one bit. Play this. Yeah, let's do this. Give me the Chromatic Lantern, then I can play the Marauding Raptor. That's bad for us. We gotta find a way to get rid of the... Hopefully we draw Cogla. We gotta find a way to get rid of the Urbrask. Cogla top deck here would be crazy. Ugh. Not for them. Bruh. Bruh, come on. Oh man, come on. What's going on here? Uh, they can blow up the skull sport next, so. I don't even know what the point of playing that is. If we repa, let's go. Let's start let's start getting some big creatures on the field. We don't need a land of war elves. It's killing me, man. It's killing me softly. The only bad thing about Seek, man. You end up seeking a freaking Llanowar Elves. You could be chaining off of like big creatures. Alright. Looks like they're out of cards. Everything has haste too, which just kind of sucks. Mm, so they're not gonna. Okay, interesting. We could block their commander, but really, there's not any point in doing that. Um, nothing is trample, which is a good thing. I think I like to block here. Actually, I think I like to block here. Get rid of that. Seven, ten. 
And we have to block here to stay alive. I think we're dead either way. I think we're dead either way. They just have to meteorite us. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's just game. Ah, you're so close. So, so close. Alright, we're up against Agatha of the Vile Cauldron. We're up against number one of Johnny Stan, too, so... That's a thing. Let's go ahead and keep it. We got, we got plenty of ramp here. Feeling pretty good about this hand. Let's go get Jetmare's Garden. Give us some mana fixing right there. Alright. Magmatic Vista. How about we go get a red? Actually, let's go get white. Because we got red in the Rockfall Veil. Let's play our Mana Dorks first before we play Marauding Raptor. As much as, as nice as it would be to give them, have to be able to cast them for one mana. Or I guess the only one I would be able to cast is Paradise Druid, but... That's about it. So, activated abilities, creatures you control... Plus X has to activate where X is the Vile Cauldron's power. I think I made this deck. Didn't I make this deck? I don't remember, honestly. It's a pretty good deck. Let's do this. Then we'll do... Then we'll do this. Then we'll do this. It's a it's a pretty good deck. Um, I'm not sure how many cards have come out since uh, the old drain set has come out that have activated abilities that would make Agatha better. But when I made it, it's just in the colors that it's in. It's just not not that great. Um. Throw out my commander. And throw out Marauding Raptor. And we'll go from there. Cause they're they're worried about putting Or or they're worried about making Agatha bigger. It there's too much setup for Agatha. I think you have to have the creatures with. You, you have to have the creatures with uh, activated abilities on the field. And you have to have Agatha's power be high. I don't know, it's just not like. not really exciting. Alright, Spade and Yeheb. We get all the value there. And let's get Rekindling Phoenix. I mean, uh, not Rekindling Phoenix, Leaf Can Avenger. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, we'll swing like that. Yeah. Oh, they're just going to take everything? They're going to give us all that red mana? All 
Alright, we can sell Vala now. Oh, we play that and it's gonna die. I'm kinda thinking I should have played the Kogla. Oh, that's right. So Vala doesn't get haste because it's not power for a greater. That's a little mistake you can make with the card. You just assume everything has... <laughs> everything is getting haste. But, uh... The commander only specifies... Things with... A block. A double block. You can kill it like that. The commander only specifies things with power for a greater. And so with this, we get we kill only Phoenix back and we get to seek a creature card again. We gain some life. It's just good. Got Kogla. And here we go. Looks like we're about to pop off, baby. We get the Secret Breacher card. Trumpeting and Carnosaur, we get to discover five. Oh yeah. Domri. Yeah, we're just getting out of hand there, buddy. Just getting out of hand. <laughs> 